Yes. The indefinite article an is used before a noun that is pronounced with vowel sound. I think uh, we have already discussed about how it is there and uh, you can see some examples on the screen like an umbrella, an orange. See, a is the vowel sound and why it is a is the vowel sound? I already told you the logic that the air doesn't get obstructed. So if the air doesn't get obstructed anywhere in the passage, obviously it becomes the vowel sound. So an orange, an hour. Now see, H is consonant alphabet, but the pronunciation is hour, a. Uh. So it receives an. Mark my words. It thoroughly depends over the pronunciation of that particular countable single noun and you have to rely over it. You are not supposed to rely over the uh, alphabet. H is the consonant alphabet as such. It, it doesn't come in under the category of vowel sound or vowel uh, alphabet. So, but the pronunciation is an R, a, an ancient city, an honest man, see, a, it is not honest, that is how we pronounce it, which is wrong, however, that is how we pronounce it, but that is not correct pronunciation and that's why I said that you must enhance your exposure, exposure of standard English and that's why I told you go and read, go and listen to uh, good channels like times now and all listen to their anchors listen to uh, the speakers like uh, Shashi Tharoor, Asha Bogle they are very good in their pronunciation fine okay so I hope the things are getting clear now definite article the this is a little complicated if you can understand only one difference where to use a and where to use an the things are done it is thoroughly upon, upon the pronunciation but as far as the is concerned this is definite article now what makes it definite article as the title itself suggests you know who we are referring to you know the person you know the noun uh, who we are talking about so definite article the is used before noun which is specific or known to the reader or listener you, you know it as a listener also you know it and as a speaker also you know who you are referring to for example, the pain in your pocket is expensive. Maybe if someone is standing in front of you and you are referring to that particular pain. Maybe, actually I don't have the pain in my pocket right now, I would have shown you. The point is, one particular pain, one particular pain that you are referring, the pain is expensive. Means this one that I am talking about. If I am saying that I want an expensive pen. So you don't know whether I am talking about the Parker pen or whether I am talking about this red pen that is there in, in my hand. So an expensive pen and the expensive pen. The expensive pen means you know which pen you are talking about. And an expensive pen you don't know which pen you are talking about. It may be any. So the pen in your pocket. Actually the pen which you have kept in your pocket. So we, I am talking particularly specifically about the pen which is there in your pocket so the man in the picture in my uncle is my uncle for example you are referring to a photo frame and there are so many people in the photo so you can simply matter the man having a good mustache like me you can see that you can see that the man or the lecturer who is having a good mustache is our english teacher so point is you know who you are referring to and that is how you can use the so the man in the picture is my uncle you are pointing out you are referring to one particular person that you know or maybe the listener knows about it now there are certain rules about where to use a definite article or indefinite article so using indefinite and definite article for same noun now this is very 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 specific that you must pay attention to noun is same it is singular countable it receives indefinite article also in one particular sentence as well as it receives the definite article in the same sentence and what is the logic behind it as you can see on the screen I saw a student playing on the ground there is a student you don't know about him now I think after 15 days or maybe after one month uh, uh, this corona threat may be gone by God and if we all come together and if anyone is there playing on the ground, you don't know the person, you can simply refer that there is a student playing on the ground. But the student is not from our college. But the person is wearing maybe uh, some civil dress coat. 
which is not white and blue uh, jeans or blue trouser. Uh, jeans is not allowed by the way, though I referred it. So maybe the blue, dark blue uh, trouser and white, the person may not may be wearing something civil. So you can say simply by his attire that I don't think that he is from our college. So to refer one particular person, we can use indefinite article as well as definite article. You can see the example. I saw a student playing on the ground and the ground, you can say the means our college ground. You know one particular ground, you know which ground you are referring to and the student, the means in the previous sentence, in linking with that, referring about the same person, you are talking about the student is not from our college, maybe from somewhere else, maybe from somewhere else or some other college. Take the example, another example, I have an exciting story to tell, an exciting story. You all know why an is used. Exciting. A. A is the vowel sound. So, an exciting. So, I have an exciting story to tell. The story is about my classmate. So, if I start, and this is also one of my favorite areas that most of my lectures you will find that there are so many anecdotes and so many stories to clear my point and to make it relevant to you guys or to relate with you guys you will find so many stories and most of the stories are from my own life or most of the stories they have, that have come up from my teaching career and as i said that it is more than one and a half decade that i have been teaching english and communication skills specifically so there are so many stories you will realize in the due course of these sessions so i have an exciting story and is the indefinite article and exciting story is singular as well as countable and that's why and but the story is about my classmate so in the same sentence we are talking or you are we are using indefinite articles as well as definite article the reason behind it in the first sentence we are not sure about who the person or who the animal is which the animal is but in the second sentence, we are simply referring to the same animal or the, to the same person who we have referred or talked about in the first sentence. That is what the logic is. And you must pay attention to this. For example, for example, there are more than 70 students in this class. So I can say that there is a boy or there is a student. The student is not uh, muting himself. Now there is a student. The student is not muting himself. So see the case. Or there is a, a student. The student is trying to enter this class. My point is, I am talking about one person, one student who is trying to enter this class. Point is, I am using a in the first sentence and the in the second sentence. That there is a student who is or the student is trying to enter this class. So I am referring both definite as well as indefinite articles. <coughs> rules of using definite article the. Now this is little complicated because there are so many rules about usage of or use of the. So please pay attention one by one and I have simplified it so that you can relate with that and you can identify it, you can understand. It. So use the when you assume there is just one of something in that place even if it has not been mentioned before. I will read it again for you guys. Use the single quote when you assume there is just one of something in that place even if it has not been mentioned before because the previous example we have already mentioned mentioned the student or mentioned the person and then the article has been used to refer him again but sometimes it may happen that we haven't mentioned it but but we can use the for example we went to the temple yesterday we went to the temple yesterday now we means listener as well as speaker both knew which temple they visited yesterday and that is how the means the particular temple that we visited yesterday and that's why Though we haven't referred the temple initially, we can directly use the, it is because both listener as well as speaker, both of them know which temple we are talking about. Where is the class? Now where is the class means sometimes the speaker as well as listener both must have talked about it. 
that when you come in this particular institution after the corona threat is gone IT people will ask where is the IT class travel and tourism people will ask where is the travel and tourism class or you can say the class or if someone uh, explains it or tells you maybe the uh, security or maybe the uh, pune of this class or any teaching faculty they can say that the class of travel and tourism is on first floor or the class of uh, information and technology is on second floor so we are talking about one particular class it may be it or it may be travel and tourism or you can ask about any lab that initially you are uh, new to this particular system and uh, situation and the uh, building so you may ask so many questions about i hope the things are getting clear though you are not in front of me but i am assuming that all of you are paying attention to what i say and i believe in you guys that whatever work or hard work that i have done to prepare this particular class to prepare these ppts and miraculously i am trying to say something in front of you i know that you will gain out of it and it will not be in vain or it will it won't be wastage of my time and energy it is because i cannot see you guys here whether you are paying attention to me or not but let me tell you that sincerity matters if there is sincerity in your relation if there is sincerity uh, sincerity in the task that you are doing the results are bound to be 99% positive so please be sincere in whatever you do and i believe in you guys and girls that you are listening to what i say and your listening come understanding will be tested after each and every lecture because there would be one test come attendance form that you would be filling every day every time whenever i conduct a session i hope the things are getting clear <clears throat> and you will follow accordingly use the in sentences or clauses where you define or identify a particular person or object i repeat use the in sentences or clauses where you define or identify a particular person or object for example the student who won the trophy is my friend the student who won the trophy is my friend now you don't know or maybe the listener don't know who you are talking about but the listener has witnessed that event who the person who won the trophy and then you are referring that event and you are associating that particular event with the person for example as i said the student who won the trophy is my friend so the listener will associate it he will understand who the person you are referring to and what kind of relationship you have with the person who won the trophy and that's why the take another example i jumped over the fence which was around the school you can also see that there is one barricade comes fence or maybe a brick wall fence uh, around our college there is no need to of course jump over the fence because we are not the uh, monsters to trouble you here you would love to be here in this particular building my point is that jokes apart my point is that i jumped over the fence the fence reference is not yet uh, revealed the reference is in second sentence which was around the school so the listener he knows that there is one fence over there around the school and the same fence the speaker is referring to from where he jumped so please this peculiarity or speciality you must point out and in that condition only you are going to use the there is no need even <coughs> if you try to use even if you try to use a or an in this particular situation you will feel that awkwardness for example i jumped over a fence which was around the school you should get that sense sometimes the error will be given and you need to rectify it and the explanation which was around the school will make you or enable you to use it correctly that there has to be the and in competitive examinations also they will ask you and which part of the sentence there is an error point it out so if you are clear about the logic clear about the logic of using articles definitely you will sail through or you will score good marks otherwise in most of the competitive examination there is negative marking so you will lose your marks also maybe one fourth of whatever your score is there you will lose marks so please pay attention 